It was something exciting, something to take us away from our average lives, to give us that adventure that you'd wanted since you were little, that we never, you know, we never quite had, we never went on that big experience, that big journey. And this was kind of our first sort of chance, the first, yeah, first time to go out and do it and see something more than what we see every day. Well, me and you were sat down one day watching Bear Grylls and we thought that'd be fun. Let's do that. And that's basically how it started. <laughs> as bluntly as simple as that. Me and you sat down watching Bear Grylls and thought that looks good. We'll do that. Um, I don't really know actually. I think I just kind of got, said, Ben, you coming? Volunteered. Because not even Jay remembers asking me and I don't remember being asked. I think it was just one of them things either they were going to leave me out and they felt sorry for me or... They asked me and we're all just all too thick to forget because it was a few months ago. One day Jay was back from London, went to visit him and he said, how do you fancy filming a documentary on the second highest point in the UK, climbing up to 50 number of peaks? And I said, yeah, why not? So here in the kitchen we got her some spices. Uh, we got a bit of... Parsley. Green, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, we got a bit of... Sunny, uh, got a bit of the old uh, dresser on the side. <laughs> whack that in, whack that in, and whack that in. <laughs> Mwah! Voila! Mada mada! <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> it's not that fancy. <laughs> Do I want to partake in the 15 peaks? He explained it all to me. I was like, great. Sounds sounds wicked. Sounds like a good laugh. I mean, there's a bunch of people you know, I've grown up with for ages. I know them all really, really well. They're all top lads and I'm thinking, yeah, this is going to be hilarious. It's going to be fun. It's going to be amazing. I think, you know, it's in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, what about my hips? What about the physical challenge? But for that, for the sake of the excitement and the adventure, I thought I'm putting this behind me. I want to do this. This would be amazing. The 15 peak challenge to me is more of a physical challenge um, rather than a mental because of um, my disability in my hips. Uh, I have Perthes disease in my hips, which um, enables me from flexibility and uh, a lot of physical exercise really um, and so it's more of a physical task uh, and a challenge I'd like to take on see whether I can make it and see if I can push my boundaries out no. it's awesome look at that <laughs> <laughs> what is going on get yeah, the river camera type boys right. is that crib watch that looks like crib watch no it's not We arrived after a four hour journey at Snowdon, or Snowdonia as it's uh, also sometimes called. Um, basically, getting out of the van was a relief in itself so I could stretch my legs because I was quite worn out from it. But as soon as you put the bag on, start again. Instant, instant heavy weight just put on your back. And the, fir the first stretch was reasonably flat, not many hills, and I, we, ma we all managed to do it quite smoothly. Everyone just starts turning, you're just turning around looking at each other thinking, you know, stupid idea. <laughs> really, everyone's legs are hurting, we're all like suffering. You've got Mitchell trying to look his best, but you can tell he's painting more than anyone else with his tiny little legs, just not keeping up with everyone. But... Walking behind them, just sort of filming as we walked up and I was like, this is it we're here, like we're finally here. I've been waiting for this for about well, months now. I've been wanting, well, I've been wanting to do something like this my whole life and I was finally there. The first stretch was all right for the beginning bit, then it started to be steeper and steeper and these rocks were like out to my waist, which I know isn't hard, but like it was just, constant getting your legs up all the time and your legs just took such a pounding on the first stretch it was just like you thought like would it get easier would it get harder uh, i was doing on my boots because these shitty boots i decided to borrow from jay actually i like they're not shitty they're quite cool um a common done and so what the fuck are you doing then go for a foam and you try to put them back by me all right mate
I didn't have any walking boots, so I said, yeah, I'll borrow Jay's. <clears throat> um, and uh, I'm walking along. Uh, I think I've done my boots up quite tight. They're feeling quite comfortable. Constant shoelace issues. Constant. They're just constantly falling out. They're, they're all over the place. I mean, in the end, I had to get Joe to like be my mum and do them up for me, which is quite embarrassing when you have people walking past and you've got Joe doing my shoelaces for me. It's a bit like... <clears throat> I, I just hope you ain't got a lot of camera to be fair. <laughs> Good gotch. The fellowship is fading. We've been walking for six minutes now. I still, to be honest, I don't think it actually really struck me until we started walking up it. And we got about 50 foot up it and I just thought, you know what, my legs are... <laughs> I could happily turn around now, sit in that car, say I'd done it and go home. I'm right, I just went for dear old Casey. I should be all right, we've only done about 400 meters so far. And my back was aching after the first end. Why the fuck am I doing this? Go team! Coming up the first sort of section, the first half an hour, I mean, the, like, the steps were just pounding away already. And I could feel it. I mean, I hadn't taken any medication on the first day. I thought, I don't need medication for the first day. You know? <laughs> it's like three, four hours. I'm going to bash this out easy. It's all right. Just burn on the thighs a little. Because it's ridiculously steep. I think the weight in the back doesn't help, but be a little lighter tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, I know it's going to be steep. I know it's going to be a challenge, but Hopefully I'm alright tomorrow. It's a little bit better. Don't look that high. Fuck off, does it not look that high? Casey, sort your shoelaces out, come on. And there was a lot of times it was like, right, um, check the map. Let's go this way. And I was like, we came to two points in the map. I was like, right, Mitchell, get the map out. Let's check the map. Uh, Let's see if this is the point where we're not meant to go down that road because I'm pretty sure we're meant to go down the right. And then Ben turns around to me and he goes, like, Jay, it says oh, Snowden this way. I was yeah. like, oh, don't even need the map. We're going that way. Right. Oh, that's, oi, Joe, that's Snowden. <laughs> Mate, fucking, that looks evil. That does look generally evil. Yeah, it looks like fucking, when he's got to fight dragons. Ah. Ah. No, just... Fucking look at that. <laughs> I'm not being funny. Decision. <laughs> Decision. <laughs> If I go left, I go to Snowden. If I go right. <laughs> Jay. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm fucking stuck. <laughs> Is it over now? Yeah. Yeah, as the Matt Rudo, I felt confident where I was going, like around the roots and stuff. Um, but yeah, I was confident most times. There was a few times where I thought, oh dear, have we missed the path and stuff. But um, most of the time I was pretty confident. You get some fucking awesome yeah. pictures on this one. No, I think you'll find Snowden. I don't know, because no, actually... No, not Snowden. Not high enough. Like our, our Matt Rudo skills, let's say, weren't up to scratch. They were alright, but... We did get lost, so. <laughs> Just over here. Up there is Snowden. We need to go out there. Unfortunately, you can't see the top because it's yeah, in the clouds. Yeah. And the problem is, is the sun's going down. It's getting dark. <laughs> we need to move there because we need to set up a camp. We need to make some food. Everyone's a bit tired. How are we feeling about it? Um, personally, I'm all right. I mean, that just wants some food. I've got to go off again, like I said. <laughs> Casey, how are we doing? Uh, cool now. It's not so bad. Joe, huh? take the pictures. How are you feeling? But, uh, <laughs> to be fair, Mitchell, how are we doing? Yeah, yeah. So to be fair, and then we'll continue to we had to stop early because where we were so far in the mountain, it got dark a lot quicker than we thought it would. Than it said sunset would, and if we carried on climbing, we would have been on a really steep hill in the pitch black, not actually knowing where we were. So we had to make a group decision and decide it was to find some flat ground and uh, camp, and it was safe then. Where we decided to camp, I think, was the best place for us because everywhere else was just like that. I ain't got time, just keep walking. I might drink from it. Let's walk, walk, walk. Whoa! Yeah. Ah. 
Fresh stream water. <laughs> Lush. Ugh. It was the dark, dark side of the mountain, if you kind of get what I mean. Like, imagine the mountain's kind of curved. And this side had the sun. and the mount So this side has the sun. And the mountain, we're here, walking up on the dark side. So whereas, even though the sunset's not meant to go down for another hour or so, we were already in dark, where it was the sun wasn't high enough to light part of the mountain we were on, so it was already getting dark. I know we've got to be hurrying up, but... It's getting really dark, though. It's raining, it's raining. Yeah, we need to get on with this. And it's starting to rain. Fuck it, move. Move out. This is getting very dark, and we still need to go all, all the way up there. It's the rainbow! It's good to go to the top. Oh, we're doing yeah, good. We're we yeah. might have to stop and chuck the rain cover on the camera. And um, chuck some water on. on Numerous people wanted to make different decisions on it. Some people wanted to keep going and some people wanted to stop and camp. Personally, I wanted to stop and camp because I thought if we carried on going, we could get ourselves in some, uh, it, in some stupid danger not knowing where we go. We don't even know if there'll be anywhere else near flat enough to camp on. So I think the fact that we stopped, found somewhere nice and flat to camp for the night, Made, made that made that good because by the time we set up the, the mist was even more further down and yeah I mean that that was probably the the first the first real point where it settled into everyone that this wasn't just going to be a a little hike because we all I well I definitely did we felt a little bit lost and that uh, we couldn't really find anywhere to camp because we was up a mountain so that wasn't great either but. Um, to be fair to us, where we camped was probably better than where we should have camped, so... So we'll fill you in with what's happened so far. Is we walked up to Snowden, but it all went wrong. <laughs> no, it didn't go wrong. It got too dark and too misty. Good, we did go to Snowden. We're somewhere on Snowden. It got too dark and too misty. So we decided to camp towards where we were. Sense, so we shut our tents up. It was too dark to film anything else, so we're out on night camp. But, um, yeah, we got the lads trying to make some food here. That leaf is just there, you can see it's it from right. here. Bugger it, that's gonna right. have to do. So, we're literally eating out of what here. Mitch, thinking he was bare grills, decided to cook on a hill <laughs> on a slant. He couldn't find anywhere flat, he decided to cook on something like that. So, as he wasn't looking, he was stirring, he knocked all the noodles and turned it. And uh, me and Joe, we just we tried, we were we were starving, we were getting grumpy when we were hungry. We had to save our food somehow, so we picked it back in. As we put it back in the pot, we realised it landed in sheep shit. <laughs> I think me, Jay, and Casey didn't eat it, but Ben and Joe managed to power through and pick it out, and was slightly disturbing how <laughs> it was like a bear girls moment. Let's face it, our tents were too close together. The food got dropped in shit. Like, you know, it got dark way too fast. Mitchell's saying, let your eyes adjust, let your eyes adjust. I can't see in the dark, mate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, God. He, he did half eye me up. 